What's going on guys? JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City video. Today we're going to be doing our Manchester City daily transfer updates. Been a bit quiet with transfer news. Over the weekend is normally the case but we're back here Monday for another transfer update. We're rolling out daily Manchester City transfer updates for all of the January winter transfer window here on the JSGC channel. So if you want to stay up to date first and fast every single day on YouTube with all the latest Manchester City transfer news, make sure you subscribe to my channel we are very very close 27 subscribers close to 28,000 subscribers so any help towards that would be much appreciated social media links they're also in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my twitter and instagram email also in the description below too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries tiktok link in the description if you want to go and follow me on there do leave a thumbs up as well if you do enjoy this video remember 300 likes is the aim so any help towards that would be much appreciated most importantly do let me know your thoughts in the comments below as i'm always interested in what you do have to say with regards to these transfers. Finally, this video once more is sponsored and brought to you by Manscaped. You can go and find their links and details there in the description. Remember, at checkout, use code JSGC and get 20% off your basket. Manscaped very kindly sent me the new Lawnmower 4.0. I've got mine, have you got yours? Go and check that out. I've got my promo video, I'll roll that at the end of the video. So Let's crack on with this transfer update. We're going to start off with the out and we've got an update on Manchester City youngster Keiki. Now he has signed for Bahia over in Brazil on loan for the whole of the upcoming Brazilian season. Uh, it ends in December. Uh, Bahia, they're part of the CFG. So wishing Keiki the very best of luck as he returns back to his home country of Brazil, do hope uh, I do hope he goes and smashes it there uh, as Manchester City looking to try and help out their Brazilian uh, partners Bahia uh, by sending them uh, all the very best. Uh, upcoming prospects at City, including that of Brazilian talents, that includes Keiki, and it also includes Diego Rosa. Now he has left Manchester City for Bahia in Brazil. He doesn't leave on loan, though. He leaves permanently. According to Transfer Market, interestingly, it's a €700,000 uh, deal. Uh, so, not the biggest of transfers, considering City uh, brought Diego Rosa in from Gremio for €6 million Euros in a deal that could have, if he'd have featured for the first team with uh, add-ons and bonuses, could have added up to a deal worth more than €20 million. Euros. And here we are. Just over a year later, it might, not, it's not, might not even be a year actually, I think Diego Rosa, we signed him uh, in February uh, of last year. Uh, and now he's left Manchester City. Now, he was out on loan. He was at uh, Vizela over in Portugal. He was getting minutes, but he wasn't getting starts. He was coming off the bench, getting a bit frustrated with that. And as I've just mentioned, Manchester City really looking to improve the profile and improve the team of their partners in the CFG Bahia. So Manchester City have given them Diego Rosa here for a really affordable price. He's on a permanent contract, signed, sealed and delivered until 2027. I'm wishing Diego go all the very best on his future and what the future does ho uh, hold for him. I hope he goes and has a lot of success in Brazil and with Bahia and he really helps uh, the CFG partner uh, in Bahia so I'll keep an eye of course on his progress and also Keiki's. Now moving on uh, a youngster that could be leaving Manchester City again on a permanent deal could be Kean Brecken. Now the Sun they say Southampton have their eyes on Kean Brecken on a permanent deal in the summer from Manchester City. Jason Wilcox, he's going to be taking over as the new first team director of football. He's handed in his uh, notice, his resignation letter to Manchester City. So he's on notice. He'll be leaving City to go and take over at Southampton. Uh, Jason Wilcox uh, has been identifying top young talents for Manchester City for years now. Very well respected at Manchester City. It's believed he wanted some first team opportunities, which Southampton were doing. And it does explain the strong links that Southampton Hampton have in bringing in Manchester City young players. Kian Brecking could be joining other players that have already left Manchester City to join Southampton, including players like Gavin Bazunu, uh, Samuel Adozi, just to name uh, a couple there. And Kian Brecking could be another. And with Jason Wilcox joining Southampton, I suspect Kian isn't going to be the last. 
And speaking of players that could join Southampton from Manchester City, Southampton having a look at one of the brightest prospects in all of the Manchester City Academy right now, Carlos Borges. Now, I'd be calling up Carlos Borges to the Manchester City Senior First Team squad uh, in the summer. I'd be giving him pre-season with the First Team squad. I'd be giving him starts in pre-season and I would be trying to integrate him in and around the Manchester City First Team squad because if we do not do that, we will lose one of our brightest prospects. He's a winger, he scores gold, he's attacking, he's dynamic. I like the look of him and if it came to a choice where if Man City wanted to, to send a player away, Cole Palmer needs minutes, he needs starts. So in my opinion, a loan deal right now would suit better for Cole Palmer than it would for Carlos Borges. And if it means promoting him to the first team squad to keep him in our team, then we should be doing that. City needs to be fighting hard to keep hold of our young players. We can't just keep loaning and selling players with cheap buyback clauses to let them go to other teams. We need to find a way to keep these young players happy at Manchester City and keeping them at the club because in the end it will save Manchester City so much money and we put so much investment into the academy it would be a massive shame to be losing top players one of the biggest players we've lost was Jadon Sancho for that exact reason and we could be looking at Jadon Sancho 2.0 here in Carlos Borges now City to me need to fight hard to keep him at City Southampton interested according to the secret scout Brighton and Hove Albion interested Borussia Dortmund interested so Man City have got a massive fight on their hands to keep Carlos Borges at the club beyond the summer and Manchester City apparently open to selling Borges but only if an affordable buyback clause is included on the transfer which I get and I get that young players may not make it at Manchester City I get why Manchester City do that and for most parts I would agree however I don't agree when it's one of the very best upcoming players that we have got and we're potentially going to lose him it won't be the first it won't be the last we've all young players I just think there's got to be another way. Now, moving on to the final transfer, takes us on to the ends. We've got a very quick update on Maximo Peroni. Now, Cesar Luis Merlo over in Argentina says Velez Sarsfield, uh, they're looking to try and negotiate the fee that Man City would be paying them. Now, he has a release clause, 8 million euros, which is 6.64 million pounds for Maximo Peroni. Manchester City have absolutely no problem in paying that in one upfront fee. Done, dusted, sealed and everything hunky-dory. However, uh, Velis Sarsfield want a little bit more money and the way they're going about this is they would like Man City to go beyond the release clause uh, and in exchange for that, uh, it may not be one lump sum but rather in instalments instead. So instead of City paying £6.64 million, they might, what, say, we'll pay them €10 million, Euros, so just over £7 million. They might say you can pay it in two instalments, £3.5 million pounds now three and a half million pounds in 12 months and Man City then uh, find a happier way to balance the books. So City are happy to explore that deal. However, uh, if it doesn't work out, negotiations do collapse and they don't work out. Man City still happy just to pay the 6.64 million pound release clause. The transfer will happen. There's no concerns about that. This is just Velas Sarsfield just looking to try and maximise uh, their own money and Man City just looking to try and utilise that to find a way of saving some money because City could also uh, include, if they don't have to go for the release clause a cheaper fee however they, they could put on uh, more uh, lucrative uh, bonuses included on the deal including things like sell-on fees and future fees and things like that so we'll see what the negotiations are he's not expected to join up with Manchester City until February anyway so there's plenty of time for both clubs to find an agreement and get that sorted worst case scenario we sign Maximo Peroni one lump sum 6.64 million pounds a deal is not in jeopardy so there we go that has been the video hope you enjoyed the video if you did enjoy this video leave a thumbs up 300 likes that's the aim any help towards that would be much appreciated let me know what you think of these transfers in the comments below including your thoughts on carlos borges how do manchester city manage that situation let me know in the comments below also don't forget as well to subscribe to my channel i'm going to keep you up to date every single day with the latest manchester city transfer news throughout all of the january winter transfer window so make sure you have subscribed also don't forget social media links they're in the description below sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my twitter and instagram tiktok link also in the description if you want to go and follow me on there email also in the description if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries 
Maguire. Speaking of sponsors, today's uh, transfer update and all my daily Manchester City transfer updates throughout the January winter transfer window is brought to you by Manscaped. Go and check them out. And remember, use code JSGC for 20% off. This video is brought to you by Manscaped.com, the premium global brand for men's grooming and hygiene products. Manscaped provide the best tools, equipment and liquids for every body part. They have been kind enough to send me the new Lawn Mower 4.0. The Lawn Mower 4.0 is a cordless trimmer with a wireless charging system, providing 90 minutes on one full charge on the lithium-ion battery. The trimmer has LED lights on the front to show battery life and also on the trimmer for a more precise shave. Ceramic blades with skin-safe technology are provided provided to help reduce nicks and cuts. Four trimmer guard options are also available to customise your hair length. The Lawn Mower 4.0 is waterproof, allowing for easy cleanup. A new travel lock feature is built in to prevent vibrations whilst on the go. So come and join me and 2 million other men worldwide who trust Manscaped when it comes to keeping yourself clean and tidy. Use code JSGC for 20% off and free worldwide shipping. Thank you very much to Manscaped for sponsoring this video. As I said, I've got my Lawn Mower 4.0. Have you? Go and copy yourself 20% off use code JSGC and I'll see you all again tomorrow for the next daily Manchester City transfer update for anyone asking yes it is a Miami Dolphins top and yes I'm very proud of the performance yesterday against the Buffalo Bills they made it to the playoffs great news they exited out to the Buffalo Bills one of the favorites to win uh, the to, to win the Super Bowl so we're looking at a fantastic team uh, being led by Allen he had a brilliant game for the Bills yesterday Miami's defense Managed to rise up to the challenge. Can't really afford to be giving away a uh, 17 points to zero lead uh, in the first quarter. Uh, they showed up. They managed to make everybody proud of themselves. However, playing uh, third-choice quarterback Skylar Thompson, who I thought had a pretty good game, uh, ended up being the difference between experience and inexperience uh, when it gets to the fine margins of the NFL playoffs. I think they had two. Uh, I think Miami would have won this game, but uh, there we go. We'll see what happens for next season, but very proud of the Dolphins and reaching the playoffs for this season. Progress. And I'll see you all again tomorrow. So I've been JSGC. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope everyone is safe and well. Peace. Ciao for now.